Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut, and it's been a week since WWDC, and I've been running the beta on all my devices, um, including my iPhones, my iPads, Mac, Apple TV, Apple Watch, all that kind of stuff, since WWDC, and I just wanted to do a little follow-up video specifically on iOS for this one, um, just because I think that's what everybody's probably going to be using the most, um, that in iPadOS. Um, so I just want to talk about the bugs and the experience that I've had overall. Now, before I get started with that, I just want to say none of that really matters because you shouldn't be running beta one on a uh, daily device anyway. If you're going to do that, wait for the public beta to come out. So please don't fill up the comments asking if this is stable, asking if this, uh, asking if you should run that on your iPhone. If you have to ask that question, the answer is no, you shouldn't, um, because if stuff on your phone matters that much, you should not be running a beta one of a developer beta. Um, but that being said. Everything has been running surprisingly well for the beta. Um, I have had a couple issues here and there, a couple glitches here and there. Um, most of that pertains to the new lock screens and setting that up. Um, but as far as app, speed, uh, performance, all that kind of stuff, everything is working great there. I haven't really had any app crashes. Um, I think maybe like one or two. Um, but you know, that can happen on just a public release anyway. So I'm not too sure if that's beta related or just the app. Um, but the only issue I'm really having is heating. Uh, the phone is getting substantially warm, um, not necessarily when I'm charging or doing anything specific. It kind of just happens randomly um, throughout the use. Um, if you are charging it though, it tends to throw it over the edge to the point where it will stop charging because it is too hot. Um, and I found that when I was using CarPlay, um, just using maps and listening to Apple Music, that that happened uh, quite frequently. Um, it happened about twice on a 30 minute drive. It would charge a little bit and then stop charging for a while and then start charging again. Um, that happened both ways on a on a 30 minute drive each way. So uh, that does happen kind of frequently. Um, obviously I had the AC on in my car, my phone was in the little like center console so it wasn't in the sunlight or anything like that and it was still happening. I would have a message saying my iPhone was waiting for it to return to a normal temperature before charging resumed. Um, so that issue is something I'm having, talking with a few friends who have um, beta one as well. They are having the same heating issues um, where their phone will just heat up randomly couple other things with like the wallpapers and stuff like that um, like if I want to choose a gradient down here um, this does not come up all the way so it's right under the uh, swipe gesture to go home or switch apps um, I don't remember that being the case when I first set it up um, but now it has been stuck like that I've restarted the phone all that kind of stuff and I'm not able to uh, switch it because it just tries to slide over and switch apps um, so can't choose the gradient on the um, wallpaper if I wanted to do that um, which is kind of unfortunate because I was trying to set up some wallpapers. Other than that though, the wallpapers have been working fairly well. Um, sometimes they won't save or sometimes this will crash right here. Um, but I found that if you set up the wallpaper on the home screen itself, um, it, it works pretty reliably. Now it is actually a bug that you have to have the phone unlocked to uh, customize it. Um, so that is not normal operation. It is supposed to be um, so you can switch wallpapers and uh, do all that kind of stuff without having to unlock your phone. I don't know if you can make new ones without it unlocked, um, but you're definitely supposed to be able to switch them with your phone still locked. Um, you can also pop over here into settings under face ID and passcode, um, and you can disable um, widgets down here. So it doesn't completely get rid of the, it doesn't completely get rid of the widget, um, but it just shows a blank section until the uh, until the device unlocks. So there you can see right there, it'll just kind of show the little blank section until the device unlocks, and then the widget content will pop back up. Um, so that is neat if you have any um, widgets you don't want anybody to be able to see the information. That'll probably become, uh, be a little bit more handy once third-party widgets come out and they show a little bit more information than just like the weather and your home status and stuff like that. Um, cause tapping on those widgets to just unlock your phone anyway, or take you into the app once you unlock your phone. Um, so they can't really get to anything in there. Everything else is working pretty well. The iMessage stuff is working well, um, with unsend and, uh, edit messages. You have 15 minutes to do that from the time you send the message and then that option will go away. Um, but I really haven't experienced any other real issues. Um, there's a couple random things here and there. Like if I go to, um, if I tap home summary right here and go to open the home kit app or the home app, it'll say unable to install profile. Now everything is still working just fine and that only happens with the home summary widget and none of the other ones. Um, so I'm not too sure what's causing that but everything else is working very well. Um, so that is iOS 16 beta one and that's been my experience. 
Um, I've only had one actual full reboot of the phone. Um, but other than that, crashes and stuff like that have been to a minimum. So very, very good sign for the stability of the public release once that comes out in September or October, um, probably towards the end of September. Uh, looking forward to beta 2. Hopefully they add a couple more things, maybe fix some of those customization issues we're having with the lock screen. Um, and you know, we'll have to wait to get all the third party stuff when developers update their apps again closer to release in September or October. This has been Colin with Tech Outdoor for to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.